All right, today we're taking a look at the two outdated touchscreen contenders. The iPhone original and whoop, the iPod Touch original. All right, so today we're going to take a look at games. We are going to run the same game. Super Monkey Ball on both devices. So let's do that now. And it loads pretty well. This is the iPod Touch and this is the iPhone. The iPod Touch seems to be loading faster. Now let's take a look at the game itself. We're going to lock the iPod Touch. So right now we're going to focus on the iPhone. First of all, the iPhone kicks the iPod's butt with a built-in speaker. So we're going to tap Main Game. We're going to play as I, I Monkey Island, 1 through 10. And we're going to, just going to play through like the first couple stages. Hang on a second. There we go. So you see the iPhone is kicking the iPod's butt right now with its built-in speaker. That's the first two rounds on the iPhone. Alright, that was the first two rounds on the iPhone. Let's take a look at the first two rounds on the iPod Touch. You can see there is no sound coming from it because it is the iPod and not the iPhone. But let's take a look. Main game. We're going to be II. Monkey Island, 1 through 10. And this is all on the iPod Touch. We got some good gameplay on here. And they're both exceptionally well. They're both great devices, but the iPhone clearly kicks its butt because of the built-in speaker. Now, the, now this is not a problem on the iPod Touch second generation because the iPod Touch second generation has the built-in speaker. So it is certainly not a problem there. That's the first two rounds on the iPod Touch. Now we're going to go home. So both devices fared well. So both devices fared well. Now let's take a look now at a couple of, let's move from games and let's talk about dimension. The iPhone is, was originally slated, originally was 11 millimeters thin, had an aluminum back with a plastic antenna, and felt great in the hand. The iPod Touch originally had a stainless steel back, and it still does, a plastic antenna, a full glass touch screen. The iPhone had some cr had stainless steel surrounding the bezel. The iPod Touch had aluminum. These are both highly recyclable devices. Now they all work 
great. But the thing is, but if you want something thinner, if you want thin, it clearly goes to show you want the iPod Touch. Now let's, I'm going to find like some kind of hard thing to put it on. As this picture will clearly show you, you want the iPod Touch You're going for thin. Because two iPod Touches is probably going to equal a little bit over a one iPhone. And you definitely don't want that. Two devices. Two devices one excellent company who can't stop giving us the absolute best the iphone and the ipod touch all both excellent apple products but as you can see when it comes to features the iphone will beat the ipod any day but when you want a thin, sleek MP3 player that's great for watching video and playing games, your best bet is going to be the iPod Touch. So there you have it. If you want features, go with the iPhone. If you want slim and sleek, iPod Touch. Both of these, however, if you're going for other phones, other ATT phones, don't think twice about the iPhone. If you're going for other MP3 players with nice big screens, no MP3, almost no MP3 player has a 3.5 inch screen that doubles as its music, as its music portal, the way you play music, you download games, all this stuff. It does not beat it out. All right, that's pretty much the video. Uh, send me a comment. Uh, also, you can also go to the blog at uh, lockernome.com slash macfan406. That is my blog. And you can write to me there. So, there you have it.